bucka, 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 bucka. <laughs> you know the deal. This is me, dog. Beats by Supremo for all of my people, Nick. Good morning. We be my neighbor. What happened to that guy? He touched the voice. Yeah. I don't know. Why don't you be my neighbor? I don't even know who that is. Come on, Mr. Rogers. Oh, okay. Puts a little hipster sweater on. Cardigan. He's the inventor of the cardigan. Inspired. He inspired Connie. I gotta go weigh my fat self. You can come with me. Haven't weighed myself in a week. Pause this video. Comment below what you think I weigh. I've had a Chipotle burrito, a red line, and I'm in full clothes. I'll take my sneakers off. Should we close the door? Is that weird? Kind of weird. All right, we'll leave it open. Here you go, little buddy. If you guys guessed 212.0, you're a winner. Congratulations. You get a free subscription to my YouTube channel. No clothes, no food. Probably 2.07 in the morning. If I guess. My lowest was around 2.04. So, we're right there. You think you had that much Chipotle? Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> so no clothes right now? I'll probably 2.10. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll, I, with uh, how much liquid and uh, food, I'll, I'll gain like 6 pounds in a day. Chatted with you guys before a couple times. How's this? Does this work? Yeah. A couple times before. I don't really love competing. Uh, I posted a quote on Instagram. Salam Michael 2 ks follow me. Uh, Michael Jordan talked about fear and how his work ethic kind of outdoes his fear. Um, fear of failure, that is. Because he knows that he'll succeed if he's putting a certain amount of work in. And I find that that quote is never more true than powerlifting. Where if you do a certain amount of reps, a certain amount of sets, sleep, uh, nutrition, recovery, for a certain amount of time, you'll kind of know about what you can lift and what you can't. So that's kind of, for me, why powerlifting competitions uh, aren't that exciting for me. They don't really give me any kind of fulfillment. Other sports, you, know, you put in preparation, you're getting your jump shots in, you're working on your crossover, you're working on your defensive stance, teams, plays, etc. And you never know who or what you're going to play against. Obviously, there's scouting and things, but not beside the fact you don't know who's going to show up when. And you can outplay someone better than you on any given day in team sports. Powerlifting, it just doesn't really happen. Um, you can have a good day and go nine for nine, but you're never gonna, you know, if you're a 600 pound polar or you hit 585 for a double in training, you're not just gonna wake up and deadlift 750 all of a sudden and, and win the world's competition of powerlifting. It doesn't work that way. But basketball, not that an eighth grader can go and dunk on Michael Jordan out of nowhere, but you know, eighth ranked team can beat a number one ranked team anything can kind of happen because there's more aspects there's more uh, uh, mental skill and, and physical skill of the sport there's it's more dynamic I guess beyond the actual body movements that the sport itself has more aspects to it that was a long rant I know but I've been talking to Mr. Barquan the homie shout out to Bart and uh, I guess it's time to get back on the platform last time I competed was a deadlift only competition Hopefully you guys have been following me for a while. Uh, it was about a year and a half ago. Had some back tweaks along the way. I wanted to compete again, uh, but it wasn't happening. So some weight loss along the way. You guys just saw the weigh in. Um, but now, July 1st, Barber Brigade, official announcement. It's official, 198 deadlift only competition. Uh, I don't think my back can handle squats and deads at the same training cycle or even at the same week right now, but deadlifting, my back feels pretty good. So. Um, today marks the first day of prep. Time to compete, time to deadlift, time to put it on the line a little bit. Time to uh, step up the, the last inch of motivation. I don't really need it, but uh, signing up and giving yourself a deadline does help for, for diet and strength training. So turning things up a bit, building some volume. Uh, got three sets of eight on 405 today deadlifts. Gonna deadlift twice a week. See what happens, my friends. So uh, subscribe, turn on notifications if you guys don't wanna miss this series. See uh, a little bit of competition prep along with the vlogs and informational stuff. Last warm up.
Some guy asks, what do you do when you're hungry? All caps. Eat? When you're dieting, though. Uh, <laughs> so when you're dieting, you know, calories, again, are going to be kind of top priority. After that, your proteins. And after that, kind of depending on your sport, your performance, and in general, a little bit of the person, a little bit of your appetite, because you split up the carbs and fat. One thing that helps when you're on lower calories, at least me, that's when kind of intermittent fasting may come in. There's no miracle about it, but limiting the amount of hours I can eat. So I wake up, I drink coffee, and I don't eat until about 11 o'clock. Um, once you do that for a while, it just becomes routine. You're not hungry as soon as you wake up. The other thing is like fruits, veggies, voluminous foods. So certain types of foods, broccoli is an example. You're gonna eat this much broccoli and get 200 calories in, or you can only eat this much ice cream and get 200 calories in. So you start to make better decisions. And then it's just about being consistent. The more consistent you are, your mind and your actual stomach will adjust to the amount of calories and food you're putting in. So uh, then cravings will go down after time. It's just a little bit of willpower, a little bit of consistency over time. And then voluminous food, staying hydrated helps. A lot of water. I drink these little Lacru bitches to keep me going. Coffee. The Crux? La Crux? I always say it and people make fun of me. I don't care, dude. I don't care. La Crux. What La do you say? La Crux. No. <laughs> I think it is La Croix or something. La Croix. <laughs> what is it? Uh -uh. I drink the La Crux. I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of coffee. I eat um, a lot of voluminous foods, a lot of veggies at night. I eat a lot of popcorn. I eat popcorn with no butter because same thing. You can get like this much popcorn, it's 60 carbs, where it's like a cup of rice is 50 carbs. So that helps me. And then staying busy, man. Having goals outside of just focusing on food all damn day. Can I lift weights now? I'm always helping these folks. They don't even care about my gains. Why don't you, why don't you, can I ask you guys a question? Why don't we put the roll on them? That's all she wrote, kids. We're gonna drink caffeine. I'm gonna go play Call of Duty. Warming the chops up. When we get to that new house, we'll be Twitch streaming, so follow it in the description below. Appreciate you guys. Powerlifting, deadlift only competition it has begun. <laughs>